November 2022 sees the desert delivering the pinnacles of world sport, with the FIFA World Cup hitting golf nation Qatar for the 22nd running of the globally anticipated quadrennial competition. But to host the World Cup is a big thing, you know, and Qatar and Qataris will really understand that when the World Cup starts, it's such a great thing, it's such a big and powerful thing. Formula One is the other big and powerful thing, which returns to UAE capital Abu Dhabi for the 2022 finale, the earliest season closer for 12 years, specifically to avoid clashes with the World Cup. But while chatter on the tournament will feature in the paddock, it will no doubt be a minor talking point compared with 2021's season finale, one that is still tearing up social platforms like Twitter. Given 107.8 million people saw the title controversially decided in Red Bull racer Max Verstappen's favor on the final lap by a safety car fiasco. On lap 53, the safety car was deployed after Williams' Nicholas Latifi hit the turn 14 barrier. But while it could have closed out the event, then F1 race director Michael Massey made what the FIA called a human error and allowed the five of eight lapped cars between Verstappen, who was on soft tires, and the race leader Sir Lewis Hamilton on used hards to unlap themselves, setting up a one-lap showdown that the Dutchman won for the victory and his maiden title. On one side, it was pure elation. Uh, this was a full team effort, of course. I mean, winning the, the, the Drivers' Championship is, is, of course, amazing. And I couldn't have done it you know, without all of these uh, people here back at the factory as well. They've been continuously pushing to, to make the car faster. And um, you know, to come back here after the season as, as a champion, it's, it's just incredible. On the other side, utter despair. But if we break that fundamental principle of sporting fairness and authenticity of the sport, that suddenly the stopwatch doesn't become relevant anymore because we are exposed to random decision making, that is clear that you fall out, of, that you may fall out of, of love. The FIA has since put in place a raft of changes to ensure fewer human errors can take place, such as the creation of a virtual race control room, but no doubt the controversy will be remembered. Hamilton remains the most successful driver in Abu Dhabi with five wins, two more than Sebastian Vettel, who will retire from F1 at the end of the race. Verstappen has two. Located 30 minutes from downtown Abu Dhabi, the 5.281-kilometer track has 16 turns, 9 left and 7 right, with a top speed of 330 kilometers per hour. Verstappen set the lap record on the new for 2021 layout, given substantial corner changes. There are still just two DRS activation zones, both on the back straights, between turns 7 and 8 and turns 10 to 11. And there are two DRS detection points, one before turn five and the other after turn seven. Can Red Bull take the fight to Mercedes in Abu Dhabi? Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.